Welcome to the Game Byte Show video podcast. I'm your host, Jared Red Eye Dunn. And I am joined by the ever present Mr. Jeremy Lawman Lamont. I'm always here. Even always. when he's not here, he's really still here. I'm I'm right behind you. Ah, the podcast, it's coming from within the house. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Uh, today we're gonna play uh, Total War Arena. Have you ever heard of this? I have heard of Arena, and I have heard of Total War, but tell me more about Total War Arena. So to- <laughs> Total War Arena is, um, I guess, Creative Assembly's take on free-to-play games. <laughs> so Total War Arena is its actually pretty neat. So it's a multiplayer only, as far as I can tell, but it's multiplayer um, tactical battle for Total War. Uh, setting around the Roman, you know, kind of early Roman, late uh, classical Greece time frame. Um, but what's really neat about it is you play on a team with other players. It's like up to, I've been on teams of like eight versus eight, and you only get a few units, right? So most Total War games you're used to having like 20 units to control. And these, so far anyway, maybe this changes as you get further into the tech tree, I only have three units at my disposal. So it's kind of critical that I work with my fellow teammates to um, command and conquer. (laughs) That's a different series. Um, Anyway, but uh, it's really kind of cool. It it kind of drives a lot of uh, cooperation, I guess, uh, or it's supposed to. That's the the thought behind it. Um, And it's kind of a quick way to kind of jump in, play some Total War, and, and get out. Matches aren't too terribly long and of course I can't get the video working hold on you know I always test this in preview I wish OBS had a better like testing we uh, we didn't mention that this game is an audio only game <laughs> yes it, it's, a, it's one of those it, it's, it's one of those new indie darlings <laughs> it's a throwback to uh, muds but instead of text only it's only audio your units move through the open grass. Your units have been obliterated. <laughs> there, there are exits to the north, west, south. <laughs> exactly. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. Yes, yes, yes. You know, this happens a lot, and I'm, I'm sorry, everybody. You know, I'm enjoying myself, actually. It's quite nice. You would. Position, move to bottom. Order, move to bottom. There we go. All right, now let's see if we can get this working. Good grief. Anyway, so I've played a few rounds of the. I haven't played a ton of this game. I've played a little bit, and this it, it will eventually be free to play. I guess it's maybe free to play now, but it's in closed beta, so you have to you know fill out your form, and hopefully you'll get. Uh, you'll get accepted. I actually bought access um, sort of in a way through the Humble Bundle that was out, uh, you know, I don't know, a couple weeks ago. And uh-huh. uh, it seemed totally worth it. It was pretty good. Uh, I've been enjoying it so far. So who uh, who is making this? Is this still a... I believe it's still made by Creative Assembly proper, who's also making Total War Warhammer is interesting right they're busy over there in uh they're their own now owned by sega i believe that's true i'm just trying to get this working no i don't want any of that oh obs All right, we're gonna we're gonna so, um, cheat, I, cheat our way through this and just do a monitor capture. As dumb oh, as right. that is, as dumb as that is. All right, move to the bottom. So my pretty skull pops in here, but it's really still not showing up. Okay. <laughs> Riveting content brought to you by the Game Bite Show. 
It's the best. It's actually the best show we've done in quite a while so far. <laughs> so I've actually not been doing a whole lot of shows lately. People might have noticed. Um, I've been kind of busy with things. But uh, hopefully we'll get some... Um, I actually hope... So this is a perfect uh, perfect opportunity to talk about uh, some things that we have coming up. I actually hope to be doing a lot more streaming here lately. And in fact, on November 7th, our, our dear... Dear followers and viewers can join us um, on this channel and possibly on YouTube. I don't know. We haven't quite decided how that's going to work. I will be playing video games for 24 hours solid. Yes. 24 hours. That sounds uh, com completely healthy. <laughs> it is. It is exactly um, what my doctor has prescribed. So I've gotten the video working, but we'll go ahead and continue with this thread of discussion. So, uh, yeah. We will be, or I will be participating um, for, I guess, my third year in a row in the Extra Life Charity Drive. So the Extra Life is a Children's Miracle Network charity. Um, basically, you sign up, you play video games, you take in donations on your donation page, and um, raise money for local kids in your area. So it's a lot of fun. The National Game Day is November 7th. I will be streaming. I will hopefully be streaming more leading up to that. My plan is to do at least one or two a week. Uh, so keep an eye out for that. You will know when we start doing that. You will see extra life crap all over the screen. We'll talk about it constantly, etc. and so forth. So okay, so we're in. Um, like I said, this is kind of in the classical era, around uh, you know early Roman. Oh, come back, come back, come back. Roman times. So uh, you can see there's a few uh, sort of Roman commanders I have here. There are some. Greek commanders here, and they just introduced barbarians with the latest patch. So, as you can imagine, uh, each one is a little bit different, but they actually have the different commanders kind of specialize in different things. So you get like uh, Julius Caesar here, who I'm going to play as support slash engineer, which theoretically I guess he can build stuff. I have not actually figured out how to do that. Those guys all look pretty unique. Yeah, so they're all kind of a little bit different. Um, like the Roman tree, and I'll show that real quick. I don't, I don't know. I don't know how to build stuff. We'll, we'll worry about that later. I'm just gonna be real bad. So the Roman tree, if you look at it, is the same for anyone in Rome. I believe that's super accurate. I, so if I go in here, see, same, same. Sounds sounds good enough to me. Same upgrade tree, but if I go into a different commander, say, I don't know, this Greek dude. Uh, I didn't actually switch to the Greek dude was the issue I had. Let's select this Greek dude. Uh, so they have different, right? So they have different units, um, different upgrades that you can do, etc. and so forth. So it's kind of cool. They all kind of specialize in different stuff. You know, the barbarians tend to be very light and maneuverable, but can't take a lot of you know, punishment. They don't wear armor. The Romans are a bit of the opposite of that. And I don't know what the Greeks are all about. They're, they just like... I don't know. Being Greek, I guess. Uh, so we're going to jump in here and we're going to do a game because it does take a little bit, that I've noticed, to, both nature and to, to find a match. I'm going to turn down the sound very slightly. By very slightly, I mean. So quite it's a bit. Uh, multiplayer only, right? Multiplayer only. Um, I don't know if they intend to introduce like a tutorial, single player tutorial mode, but it, it, essentially it is their, multi, their version of a multiplayer game. Free to play. So you can buy. Um, hopefully, I can do this without getting out of queue here. So I could go in here, and if I had gold, I could unlock this sort of premium unit. Um, I don't have gold. I have two hundred gold. This costs two thousand gold. Uh, and what does that cost? I guess I can't look at gold when I'm in queue. But uh, you know, this is what you buy for real world money. This is what you earn in game, and this is the experience of your commander, which you can use to upgrade your units. So you could go in here, and I've upgraded a few of these here. Like I upgraded his hat, and his shield, and his javelin, but not his armor yet. And so, depending on how you want to do this, like I upgraded the shield because I want to eventually get this siege engine immunes, whatever that is. Um, and so I need to upgrade through this to get to unlock this unit, which is here. And then now I upgrade this and move down, you know, so so on and so forth. So I'm trying to kind of specialize in support on this guy. That is ranged units. That is 
seed units. Uh, and oh man, we have a ton of uh, of uh, this dude. So that should be interesting. We will see how it goes. But yeah, you can see that the, these are all different players. Um, looks like we have no AI on either team, which is good. So one, two, three, four. 10 on each side so each person has three units so you know 30 units out on the field it, it, it's pretty interesting They're, they have some ba basic kind of teleprompting telecasting abilities where you can kind of draw lines and arrows and stuff to kind of show like hey you should move over here that kind of stuff um, I apologize for some of those names uh, you know I have no control over some of these people's names they're terrible <laughs> I, I was gonna say I'm kind of surprised to see so many different people participating in one match yeah i was kind of shocked by it too i expected like maybe four per side or something but then you start joining these right right and it's like tons of people like a dozen people so right now i've got about a minute 45 seconds or so to select a um starting position uh i kind of like i kind of want this position here so they just vacated so i'm gonna go in there so the flags are the support engineer people um, you can see here, this guy is assault, these guys are defense, this guy is kind of an assault defense. So, And you can kind of start to see where people are lining up. So I don't know why we've got all of our support up front, but <laughs> surely that what could possibly go wrong. Uh, the other interesting thing about this map, so the other enemy team is lining up here, is these two circles are the capture bases. The enemy base or kill our enemy. Okay, so we can capture oh. the enemy base or kill okay. them. Um, which our announcer just... And, and I noticed that it's not... Um, I, well, let me... Uh, and I didn't get a look at the whole map, but it looks like it's not a perfectly symmetrical layout, is it? No. No, the, the maps are not completely symmetrical. They do try to provide, like, here's a, some clip. Like, let's get this unit up here. Um, we're going to get these guys over here, and I've got anti cavalry guys, so... Um, I like how our guys walked through the camp and just flattened it. Like, well, that was rude. <laughs> anyway, I noticed that the last game I played, it was quite silly. Yeah, and there's different terrain bonuses. You can start to see, I don't see any popping up, but you'll start to see these kind of icons above your units, and that's the different terrain bonuses that they're getting. Ooh, so here's some enemy units. And, I, and my range units are very short-ranged. As you can imagine, for javelin guys, so we're gonna do our best here to keep anyone from crossing this so river. So, do you pretty much you start with a, a finite number of units, and then do you keep them, and then when you're out, are you out, or do yeah, you have this is building it. capabilities, or how nope. does that work? Nope, this is this is my team. Um, this these are my guys, and this is it. So, I got some friendlies over here looking to defend this bridge. I'm going to try to keep them from crossing the river proper. Why didn't you line up? Understood. Line up. And I have a few special abilities, so like Focus Fire um, gives me increased uh, accuracy and missile damage. Um, whatever, it has cooldown, etc. and so forth. So. Let's see. So basically, knowing where the enemy is is a huge part of this. Um, I'm a little concerned that this guy is totally immobile, possibly AFK. So you can see they've really engaged pretty heavily over here. Looks like we're actually not doing too bad. Actually, looks like we're doing pretty good. A little concerned. Oh man, they got around me. So. This guy really needed to have moved up. I kind of wish he had. Because this kind of leads me So it's me pretty to... much the standard Total War, yep. rock, paper, scissors, mm -hmm. plus positioning kind of thing. Right? Yep. Uh, oh, man. Oh, guys, those have such long range. Um, yeah, basically exactly what you'd expect, right? So our, uh, range defeats infantry, infantry defeats spears, spears defeat cavalry, cavalry, my commander's already fallen, uh, cavalry defeats range, so, and then siege kind of throws a, I've already routed? Good grief. So these guys will rally. They pretty much just routed because the commander died. 
Let's get these guys off the cliff. They're not going to do any good there. So that really long range unit is going to hurt me really, really bad. Um, so let's. And these are all. I have anti cavalry infantry, which is going to hurt me pretty poorly. Because um, these guys are all infantry. So did you get to choose? Now I didn't notice when you started, but does it assign you the units, or does everybody start with the same no, stuff? It, or how I, do you? I chose the units. In fact, these are upgraded units. I've left my basic units aside. Um, did I already route? Oh, I've completely taken this side of the map. Run. Um, but I, I can kind of control which units I choose at the beginning when I was first selecting my commanders when I do that. So I can't do it once I'm in like map selection. I'm just going to bring them to this guy. You saved me. Our base is being Since nobody else tried to help. <laughs> me. I think a lot of these people are just AFK. That guy's just AFK. I mean, you can tell. <laughs> I mean, he's, he's just standing in his starting position, unmoved. We'll try to at least get some points. There is friendly fire, so my javelin throwers will be pummeling my own team here, unfortunately. Um, they are already capturing our base. Oh, no, my units have incidentally run into the uh, friendly base, or our base here, so that's good. You should run Won't away. they be surprised in just a minute? Uh, yeah. We'll get them. Um, I mean, I guess I'll pop some of these special abilities because why not? Burn them if you got them. That's what I'm kind of thinking. In the name of Rome. Run away! Run away! You should have run away sooner. <laughs> Wait, where are you go? What do you mean you routed? Nobody even touched you, you wimps. All right, so we are doing uh, actually not too terribly. We must really have won the north. So yeah, you can see our friendly units coming down from the. North. I, I was just gonna say, what's going on elsewhere? Because so, I mean, so, so I've died doing something somewhere. Uh, so we won the battle up here. Um, we'll keep watching for a little bit. You can see them kind of pushing around. These are those guys that were absolutely punishing me. The, the siege engines, but we are capturing their base. So. This could become a race to see who captures first. Oh, we got some reinforcements coming here, so that should block their capture pretty pretty solid. Whereas they have no one in position to do that, so that could be really good. We may win on capture here. Um, so this is basically how the game plays out, and you know the different factions. We were real heavily um, lean towards. They're actually beating us unit wise, but. Uh, I might be able to beat him on capture. Um, you know, so usually, how does the uh, how does the reward system go? Like, if you if you die, do you miss out on the sweet loots? No, I will get experience. Even if I lose, even if I die, I will get experience for the activities I did, um, causing team damage, uh, net to negative uh, points, I guess, so to speak. Doing damage to the enemy team, oh. capturing bases, etc., and so forth. Um, gets you positive. So you can actually, I've actually ended up with a negative score once because I just, I, the friendly fire was real. Um, oh, wow. Yeah, so we'll win this. Uh, they have they have no chance of these guys routed, so we'll win on. Good, 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 good. But, uh, yeah, so I didn't do too great. So I got a little bit of commander XP, a little bit of unit XP, and, and a very tiny amount of cash. 314 is not very much, so. So, so you're leveling your commander, but also your squad. So, what uh, d does that just raise their veterancy level? I guess. Yeah. So these guys gain units as you play. Um, the other thing I think that happened. So I did pretty poorly. You can see it way down here. Um, not as bad as Bill Clinton, <laughs> though. Or you see this. Your guy. heart was in it, though. Negative. Well, I, I, I was a support uh, commander with no support, with no one to support. So that was kind of not the best. Um, so here are my three different units. You can see the different experience they got. Um, so these guys got, uh, you know, whatever, 19 experience, 20 here, and 17 here. I guess that adds up to 60 somehow. Um, 
And then this is the different commander experience I got. Oh, I guess this is just additional stuff. And this is the money I earned. So these guys, I believe, actually cost me money because they're not free to purchase. Um, so that might have been one of the reasons my uh, income was a little bit low. So we could theoretically go in here, and I have 98 uh, experience, so I guess I can't really level them up at all. But I could go in here and maybe level up this hat. Or the shield. Let's go for the shield. Ooh. And so we used a little bit of commander XP and the uh, unit XP, I think, there to level it up. Let's get the spear, too. Why not? That seems pretty uh, your, good. Your guys are very, like, doe-eyed. I, I love how they look just so innocent. <laughs> I know. They're, like, 12. They don't even wear pants, man. All right. So maybe we'll try out a little bit different commander. Uh, you know what? Let's do this guy. Let's show off some of the cavalry. There is no time to lose. Ooh, yeah. So this guy thinks there's no time to lose. Enter a reckless attacking frenzy. I don't see anything wrong with that. I don't even have, like, text for this guy yet. He's just got placeholder. So that's pretty good. Uh, can we level any of this stuff up? I don't want that. Let's go back. I want to level up my riders. Riders of the storm. Oh, I just... I don't know what I just did there. Alright. Now we got new riders. So now we got scout riders instead of our levy riders. So let's go get some of those guys. So this guy I can remove. This guy I can remove. Yes. Yes, I am the greatest. So now we've got like these uber dudes. So let's go. Only I can bring the world to heal. They all look like uh, Jason. What's his? They all look like that Dothraki guy. Uh... <laughs> yeah, it, it's it's fortunate that all of the horses are exactly the same horse. So that's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, I I know. Uh, so. Some of our chat guys are saying... So I actually had trouble the other day figuring out when it was going to be buying um, upgrades through Commander XP or Unit XP. Like, I wish it was clearer when it was saying that. I, I guess I have a lot of trouble telling the difference. And that's kind of frustrating. So I guess this is the different symbol. I don't, you know, I don't know. The U I constantly find myself kind of flipping back and forth in the UI. It kind of makes me think it needs a little bit of work, but maybe it's okay, and I'm, I'm just daft. Daft, I say. So we'll maybe play one more round um, with the horsies. We'll ride on our ponies, and then... Uh, That'll probably be perfect for timing. Of which, of course, those like are five bronies, minutes, not ponies. Five minutes of that was spent just trying to get the video to work. So, <laughs> hey man, don't knock the the My Little Ponies. I guess. I just can't wait till they come out with the My Little Pony MMO. I'll be all over that. I actually don't care for my little pony. So matchmaking isn't the worst. I mean, maybe it's just kind of picked up lately since there's been additional seeming influx of players, but uh, I've not had terrible luck with it. I don't really know the best place to go with... We'll go down south here. Maybe we can kind of scout out this South Island. Find a nice place for a cozy, uh, you know, home away from home. So, unfortunately, we, once again, seem to be kind of stacked up. I don't know. I guess it assigns, if you if someone doesn't pick a location, I guess it assigns something random. Have you had anyone really coordinate a uh, 
unoffensive or anything like I've that? I've actually I mean, had... Does anyone well, actually communicate with each other? I've had a few people kind of... You, you can see them trying to tell me, like, hey, move your units here, move your units there. Um, and that actually helps a lot, particularly when it's like, say, you and one or two other commanders are holding the middle or, you know, the left flank or the right flank. Um, kind of right. getting, getting that kind of coordinated. I'm going to put my archers here. You put yours there. We'll put our infantry, you know, wherever. I found that to be wet mud. Well, fine. You're wet mud. Um, I actually found that to be really super helpful. I'm going to put my infantry over here in this forest, hidden. Ah, spears, so I don't want anything to do with that. So we'll just quietly walk away, as if we were never here. Let's see, they've, I've got swords, cavalry, and cavalry great. So we're kind of probably not very well matched here. Let's hide in the grass. I don't think cavalry can hide in grass. It just wouldn't make sense. It's like he's just flat running away. <laughs> I mean, I guess that's one way to do it. Well, we'll do that too. Stick together, team. I like how fast the river is. It's like... <laughs> you will die if you touch that. I know, right? Like, you just, like, just... would just take your boot right off your foot. You know what I mean? <laughs> We've got a little cavalry on cavalry battle up here. That seems ineffective at best. Let's see if we can flank them. Oh, he's gotten really hit hard. Oh, no. Well, I've been spotted. And by that, I mean I've engaged them with my swords. Well, let's just pop these, because I guess. Come on, guys. So, these guys are really light. Like, they're not, like very strong so they're pretty much those guys are dead so that's good news wait S swordsmen get in there you scum lords all right i don't know what either of those abilities are but we're popping them all <laughs> just do it just live in the dream Let's see if we can get around here. And the Shia flanking method. charge. All right, so my swordsmen aren't doing too great, and I say swordsmen, they're like actually just a bunch of like young village boys with like wooden clubs or something. Hmm. Let's do frenzy, I guess. I don't know. So these guys are about to rout. That's good news. But I totally beat that guy. So that's good news. So uh, what's what's that stuff counting up in the corners up there? Is that like victory points or something? Yeah, I'm not sure. Total number of enemy points. I'm not really sure what that actually what like gives you points and how that affects the game. But um, this is the amount of enemy units left. Seems so you like can see we slightly outnumber the enemy right now. Let's see if we can get in here and charge these guys. Just to really... No, why did you stop, you scum lords? Oh, well. Alright, well, that was pretty good. That seemed a much more effective... What are, what are these two guys doing? Whatever, man. Um, I do like this little interface though, where you can kind of see the individual units and like their individual health and like the commander. You can see my my commander's in here, and he's not doing too great. Um, but it kind of is a really great tool for just kind of a quick. What are? Uh, oh, oh dear. Maybe I just crashed. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I I'm not gonna. I think I've played maybe. 
Okay, well, I'm done again. Um, this might be my sixth game. I'm not very good yet, so. Mia culpa. I'm terrible. Forgive me. I think I think you can probably. I mean, if you're charging someone from the, the flank or the rear, I think you can probably get away with a cavalry charge. I don't know. These guys are super lightly armored and don't do a ton of damage. I, I think it's very much, very heavily leans on the rock paper scissors formula. So it's, it's like a like a troop of equestrian riders. It's it's like you know in. In Girl Scouts, when they get their horse riding badge, that's basically what those guys are. It's a bunch of Girl Scouts ah. selling cookies, riding horse, riding ponies. Yeah. So we didn't do too great. <laughs> Man, I'm getting the most help from the uh, Twitch chat right now than I have. It would have taken me months to figure all this out, so thank you very much for the input. We, Look we at have these people guys. here who actually know what they're doing. I, well, I mean, that know anything would be more than what we know. <laughs> Look at these guys. <laughs> these guys actually have, like, weapons. My guys run around with soggy baguettes. I think I caused some pretty good... Look at this mayhem. Let's just look at this mayhem for a minute. Cue the sad music. <laughs> what you do today will echo through eternity. I don't think the uh, Germanic barbarians had violins, but uh, it'd be a good time to play one. I'm Spartacus. Or I am Gladiator. <laughs> were you not entertained? I was entertained. Looks like we're going for the capture once again. Seems like a pretty good way to win, but there are two. Look at this guy. He doesn't seem super effective. You're not even shooting at the bad guys. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Yeah, I was actually playing uh, Major Toto 86. I was actually playing uh, Rome a little bit earlier. That's actually who I've kind of gravitated towards. Um, just because they fit my style of, I don't know what I'm doing, so I'm going to take my units and charge head on and hope for the best. Uh, they seem pretty good at that. Uh, whereas the Barbarians, I played a few, one or two matches of the Barbarians at first and decided that um, I'm bad at Barbarians, and I just wanted to kind of show the uh, cavalry gameplay. I guess I did a pretty good job of showing how cavalry gets uh, dead very easily. Look at these guys like milling around. What are they even doing? He's just getting stabbed. You think he'd fight back? Did you remember to teach these guys which end the pointy side goes into, or? <laughs> no, we forgot about that. So there we go. We lost. So question, question in the chat: What's your favorite commander? Do you have a favorite so far? So far, I have only played, I guess, Arminius, who's the guy I just played. Um, and then Julius Caesar twice, a few times, and Germanicus once. He was okay. I So far I've liked uh, Julius Caesar the best, though. I like throwing spears at people. Although he looks like a really wimpy commander, man. He's just like carrying a stick. He's like carrying like he's like this guy in like the uh, intersections, you know, that like hold up the, the mattress sail sign. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. So we're actually a little bit... <laughs> that went down a dark path. So we're actually a little bit over time. So we'll go ahead and call it for the evening. Um, but uh, Total War Arena. Free to play. Total War game. In closed beta now. Pretty interesting. It actually looks like it works pretty well. I like it because it, it's kind of the funnest part. Like, I, I kind of am okay with some of the strategy management of Total War games, but they really kind of slog on, and a lot of the fun parts is just jumping in, and it kind of mimics one of the funnest multiplayer game modes I've ever seen that was in um, World in Conflict, where you could just be, I'm just going to be the air support, or I'm just going to be the infantry, or I'm just going to be the tanks, and your other multiplayer teammates were the other units and you had to work together and this kind of really mimics that in a really awesome way and I really enjoy that. 
So if you're just going to do support or heavy infantry, you can just focus on support or heavy infantry and uh, fulfill your role while your teammates kind of back you up and do the other roles and makes it all work. So I really like it. I actually will probably keep playing this quite a bit. Um, it's just kind of fun. I can jump in, play a few rounds, and get out without having to think too hard. Uh, you kind of know what to expect. So, uh, thank you, everyone. So in this the chat. is a closed closed beta right now, right? Yeah, that, uh, yeah. I don't. Actually we know, know we have a solid release date for this. I don't know. Probably not. Um, but uh, it's definitely worth checking out. Sometime. Yeah, in in the future. <laughs> So uh, definitely check it out. And the other thing you should check out is our uh, YouTube page. If, if you're viewing us on YouTube, then I guess you've already found it. If you have, are watching us on Twitch, head over to youtube.com slash gamebyteshow. You can find all of our archives from previous week's streams. Uh, we try to stream at least once a week for 30-ish minutes. Um, to try to keep it short. Uh, you might also want to check out our audio podcast, which we record twice a week and try to keep it to 30 minutes, although I don't think we've ever hit that once. Um, but that's over at GameBytesShow.com. We're getting there. We're working on it. No, we aren't. <laughs> GameBytesShow.com. You should check it out. Uh, it's really good. One one episode we bring you news and current happenings. The other is just games we played and we talk about video games because video games. Uh, if you would like to talk to us when we are not in our Twitch stream, then head over to Twitter and at us at GameBytesShow. You can at me individually at Red underscore I. And Jeremy? I am at Jeremy underscore Lamont. Boom. We have others. I've, I haven't done this in so long. We do We do have others. But, you know, they're not here, so we're, we're skipping them tonight. Moving on. Moving on. So I think that covers us. We are actually over in Steam as well. We have a little Steam group going. So if you want to play games with us, uh, feel free to go over there. It's a, a Game Byte show. I mean, just search the groups, I guess. You'll find it. Um... I think that's it. I think I've run through everything. So That'll do. I think that's... I think we'll call it a wrap. I think so. Thank you, everybody, for joining us. And, I think uh, so. We'll see you next week. Thanks, everyone. <laughs>